and they are they are looking good and having a good time as they should be given that they are the reigning pro chess league champions getting set to head to san francisco to defend their title here with us are the armenia eagles if you didn't see what's in front of you thank you everybody for tuning in to our next beyond the board interview session with a pro chess league team so uh, so many places we could begin, guys. This is, uh, I think this is going to be a fun call and a fun interview based on how it's been already hanging out. But um, Artok just mentioned it, and so he's already asked and, and, and answered one of the big questions, which is, hey, you guys defeated St. Louis in the semifinals last year, but they didn't have Fabiano, Car Fabiano Caruana on board one. So Artok, I'm going to ask you, what makes you so confident your team will be able to repeat the feat that they did last year, ousting the Archbishops, now that they have the world number two on board one? Uh, first of all, uh, number two in a classical game and number two in a rapid is a completely different thing. And I, I, I am more than sure that in a rapid, the chances of lower rated player is much higher rather than uh, higher rated because of uh, even with lack of opening theory and etc cetera, etc cetera, you still can uh, have a normal position and sometimes even won and i have uh, at least three tremendous players each of one uh, each of them can can make this happen so, uh, great and question I'm not counting obviously board four because at the moment is not clear uh, who will play Sorry, it wasn't a great, it was a great answer by you, and I guess that's a big part of what makes the Pro Chess League the Pro Chess League. It is rapid, right? It is online, so world number two in classical is not world number two in rapid. And so now I'm going to ask you, Zavin, who uh, I think in, in many ways you could argue that if it comes down to a, a big moment, a, a tiebreaker, a lot is going to be resting on your shoulders. Last year you delivered with the, with the fist pump that went viral on the internet, how do you feel about your chances against someone like Fabiano Caruana in, in the Pro Chess League Rapid format? Okay, of course, uh, Fabiano is a great chess player. He's world number two, but uh, I think it's uh, other story. So it's not classical chess and it's internet chess. It's uh, rapid chess. So we used to play it and uh, we are not afraid anyone of, even if it is uh, Fabiano Caruana, uh, he's sitting next uh, his to Magnus Carlsen. So it's don't care to our team. So we are going there to defend our champions title. Can I add something? Go. Yes, please. Uh, I think if it, if we will draw the game, the match, uh, Zaven will not have a chance to play. I hope so. <laughs> because it will be ended on a high. <laughs> well, I, I was going to say, that's a... That's, uh... <laughs> a, a great, a great point, and it leads me to my one of my next follow-up questions for you, our talk uh, regarding two of the faces that have been sitting here comfortably waiting for their turn to talk. H how you doing, Hike? How's the how's the teddy bear behind you? Hike. Hike Posa. Huh? How's the, how's the teddy bear? Just got just. <laughs> it looks comfy. I mean, honestly, it looks comfy. But uh, my, my next question was for you, Artok, but it's about uh, actually the, the young man here uh, to your left on our screen, Sean Sargisian, was he was on the roster for the 2018 Armenia Eagles who qualified their way into the Pro Chess League, ultimately ended up winning the whole thing. But Sean didn't get as much, uh, as much action, right? He was not listed in, in the active lineups on a very... Uh, regular basis. And so let me ask you, Artok, you're the manager, you're the guy making that decisions. What changed in Sean's play this year as a, as a talented rising chess player that, that, that changed your mind in regards to giving him a lot more spots? And for many people, Sean might have been one of the rookies of the year, right? So what, what changed in Sean's play to have him be more actively in the lineup? The answer is simple. Because we uh, last year we had uh, some critical uh, moments when we have uh, obviously missing the players and uh, Shant was included there to cover this gap and uh, this was especially during the Armenian Chess Championship. At that day, as uh, we had a team event, uh, I asked Shant to play, but he refused. So therefore, it was his only chance to play it uh, when he became uh, much more stronger and uh, we decided that we will renew the, our team and uh, as you see Shant is our 
main power in these battles and uh, one of the rookies, as you told, is a uh, tremendously increasing his uh, skills and showing tremendous results. So, Sean, let me ask you then, what, what do you feel has improved in your chess in the last year to, to help you jump level and, and be somebody who's consistently overperforming his FIDE rating in the Pro Chess League? Can I just just tell in Armenia? What I was going to say if you if you want to translate, go for yeah. it. Don't even ask okay. permission. Go ahead and translate my question. Okay. Denny, I will tell Denny. Go for okay. it. Okay, yes, Okay, Shant became world champion under okay. 60. And what is uh, most important, Shant always played rapid, very strong. So this is the most important thing how he can uh, how he get to our team. So he is a vice champion of Armenia in, by rapid chess, and Haiki is a champion. So our team is uh, like. <laughs> yeah, so we are taking the guys who are playing very good in the rapid chess. So the classical chess is not so important here. Right. We are having uh, trainings all together. Well, and that's a great uh, – thank you, Zavin, and, and that's a great question. I'll follow up to you then and ask. You're somebody who plays a lot on chess.com. Uh, you are a uh, regular competitor in Title Tuesdays and a lot of our events – but as you said, you yourself, along with Hike and Shant, are all rated over 2,900 in Blitz on Chess.com. Do you think that experience and that comfort level, both with Chess.com and the Rapid Blitz format, is, is just a big part of your success overall? Of course, sure. Of course, of course. Because we are using, okay, you know, we know, I know a lot of chess players who are very good playing on board. But if you are, but if they are playing by computer, they just couldn't play. So it's very important. Uh, to feel it. So I made one uh, one time big mistake. Uh, I tell you, Benny, when I was playing with it, this important match, when I was playing one uh, one plus one. So I was training in other website. I will not tell which one. And, uh, <laughs> you were playing me... on Lee Chess. That's okay. You can say. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, okay. I was I was training there because I, I thought that uh, Vidit will see my games here and he will be prepared. So I was playing over there for one plus one. And uh, this confused me because in Chesscom it's other uh, options and in Lee Chess or other websites are other. No, it's it's actually an interesting point because it came up recently in the Bullet Chess Championship. On Lee Chess, if yeah. you pre-move, you don't lose any time. But on Chess.com, yeah. if you pre-move, and so it's a big difference. And I mean, it's a fair point. I think that, you know, there's yeah, a lot sure. of discussion in terms of what's better and why. I actually wrote a blog about this recently in terms of why we believe uh, yeah, it's yeah. better, think, but regardless of that, I think I think it's a great point in terms of the comfort of Chess.com specifically. Yes, of course, and also in Chess.com you can make uh, many uh, pre moves. Right. So not one, I mean some five, six. I don't know. Right. You can do any any any, uh, uh, any match how you want. Yeah. So it's interesting, and 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 I think that uh, just from a an outsider's perspective, our talk a lot of the fans. Are, are probably more surprised by your guys' success than, than you guys are or even your peers. Uh, we did an interview yesterday with Georg Meyer, who said that as soon as he saw the Armenia Eagles were trying to qualify into the 2018 season, that he knew you guys would be great champions for years to come because he knows that Armenia has a very strong culture. He knows that they historically do well in, in all kinds of team events, the Olympiad and other European Club Cups. So, so amongst your peers, I don't think people are very surprised by your guys' success, but the fans don't always understand what it is to be an expert at a certain time control. So Artok, talk a little bit about, about as you're saying, why you're so confident in the Armenia Eagles' success because of the, the chess.com format and because of the rapid time control and because it's a team event, right? Uh, first of all, because there is a ceiling uh, to, under 2,500. So whatever you will do, you need to either to go with the strong ones and sacrifice in one of the uh, boards or uh, it's, it's strategy, basically. So I think that uh, is much more important to have uh, the lineup like ours because it's not guaranteed that, let's say, 200 uh, Kaurana will beat everybody here. But in in a lower boards, if you have a 
privilege or some some uh, higher chances the chances that you can uh, let's say more easily or more, or more i mean bit uh, lower rate is high, uh, is um, obviously much higher and both uh, regarding uh, do we suppressed honestly when we were traveling uh, first time to usa we were thinking only uh, to show good game because we were not confident we saw the chinese team i mean how we can compete with them, obviously. I mean, uh, because uh, to be honest with you, it was very big surprise for us. Uh, but when we survived the uh, tiebreak, I already knew in my thoughts that Zaven will beat. And uh, at that moment, we feel much more confident that in a blitz, at least we have higher chances. This year, we are coming uh, a, a bit more experienced. And uh, again, as, as, as you told, the chess comment rapid is the strength in which uh, either first there is a, some portion of lack, uh, and the second the, the chances that uh, even if you will be catched in a in an opening or something like that, you could somehow ex escape. But, uh, here you need much more hard working and believeness in your team's power is much more important. So therefore, uh, this is uh, I think that uh, the unique sport in Armenia is that Armenia constantly makes some progress. Why? Because each Armenians, uh, each of the Armenians are more individualistic. And also it's a team event, but everybody of us is a bit more individual. But uh, there is a time that we are believing on a team spirit. I think historically it's fair to say that some people perform better over the board and some people seem to play better in team events. Yeah, uh, for example, what? one example, Karen Asarian. Uh, who died very early, but he was tremendously good uh, team player. He can keep his board if he would like, either with white, with black. And when he need, uh, the team needs a win, he will be pressing. So uh, having some balance and not going into the tricky actions is much more important, especially in team events. So and therefore, sometimes I'm uh, angry on Hike when he is playing something like G4 and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, and uh, got in a in a bad situations because he, in in a team event you are you could do it for fun when you are playing on your own. But in a team event, you should feel a responsibility. Well, I think the natural next question then is to Hike and ask him. Uh, <laughs> yes, for, Karpin. So what what are, what are your thoughts, Hike, on on uh, the pressure you feel both from your manager and as a, as a very talented young man who plays chess individually at a very high level, how do you feel when you're playing with the pressure to, to make your teammates happy? Artok, feel free to translate if you think you need to. Uh, I am uh, con uh, concentrated on my uh, play and uh, do not even listen. I mean, what what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> do you, do but he will listen in the USA. I am promising that he will listen. <laughs> I I would bet. It, let Let me ask another question for Hike. Do, you're very comfortable in rapid and blitz. That's clear for anybody that sees Hike on Chess.com. He's very very strong bullet. Very strong blitz. Very strong rapid player. What, ask him if you would what his strategy is. Is he trying to get players in original positions quickly with moves like G4, as much as it may make you crazy, Artok? Or is he, or does he just do that for fun? And really, when it comes to the finals, we're going to see that high-level preparation that a grandmaster like him is capable of. Asma, do ban al shat laves kavom ta blitz yev ban bullet or milo bance arak shakhmat inch na eliko him na kan uje vordu anumes ta G4 ban atakuishi baneres anum te u inches inch akan kaleng tezanit Amerika inch solid opening ne banes kavali du as skna kavales. Atak uje der verchi ne vidas mukna. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, in fact, he told something that I need to explain. Uh, uh, he, he's telling that the, my main power is uh, the, the mouse that I uh, present to him. It was a bet uh, among our team when we were facing with the uh, 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 Volga Strombringers. Strom I uh -huh. promised my team that whoever will win, 
I will personally give the newest brand model of a mouse, and he uh, <laughs> it's that much Zavin and Haik won. And I next two hundred next match I I bring I keep my promise and bring the new the new brand new mouses. And Haik is saying that this is the key of the, of the success. <laughs> well then. Are Hike and Zavin? Are you bringing the mouse to San Francisco? Of course, of course, of course. Yes, he's a very good mouse, very strong mouse. <laughs> okay. Well, I have a question for each of you. Uh, you, you are talking Zavin. You know that last year, one of the things we did for the headphones, people wondered how could they not hear. We had white noise as well as classical music. This year, we're actually going to let all the players choose their own music, and in fact. You'll be getting reached out to to tell us and give us your playlist. Um, so, what music are you going to be listening to? I'm going to start with you, Zavin. What music will you be listening to? Oh, so uh, I'm listening. Uh, you know, it's like uh, I don't know. I'm listening just everything. Uh, it's uh, when I'm playing a chess, I don't care. So, just something, some noise, it's enough. Some noise is enough just to help you be in the zone. All right, Shant, Sargisian, uh, what music will, will you be? Will you prefer? Oh, uh, everything. Everything like like some Taylor Swift, some 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 R and B. Like what are we at here? Like what what what? Or is it Armenian pop? <laughs> no, but uh, we will show you some Armenian music if you will find it. I I want to listen. I want the Armenian music. Yeah, yeah. I I, I will send you. Okay, Artok, what do you think? I think honestly, I am old guy. I I I hate uh, when there is a noise, uh, <laughs> and and, and, and uh, obviously, I mean, it was uncomfortable at first when you are playing with these uh, headphones and uh, some white papers or something like that. I am personally in favor of Russian pop music, but. In this uh, case, I think that my team will get me to just to rest and follow how they are beating Caruana. Okay, <laughs> there you go. Well, Hike, um, will you be listening to some teddy bear jams? Or you got something <laughs> what else you got? No, for me, this is no problem because I like his Mozart classical music. <laughs> I okay. this. Do, do you listen to music when you play on chess.com regularly? Yes. And, and Mozart is the jam of choice? Yeah? Mozart? Yes, yes. No? Okay, great. I mean, maybe that's a, maybe that's a part something? of the success. Yeah, go ahead, Artak. Uh, yeah, I just would like to say that music also characterizes uh, characterize some sort of nature of a person. For example, I am pretty sure that, for example, Hikaru Nakamura, whatever music he will listen, he will do the same type of thing. <laughs> The same we have as Avent, so there, there is no no point. Whatever music will be, his the articulation will be the same. <laughs> well, I gotta admit that 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 makes me a little surprised to hear that Haik then listens to Mozart because he, um, I mean, he's young and his chess style is very very aggressive, very but tactically he's a quiet accurate. Person. He's a quiet person, so Mozart. Okay. Beats him. Well, there you go. That's that's great. So. Michi or Mozart. <laughs> there Danny. he is, the hero. Danny. Go ahead. Zavin, recog- I see Tigran I see Tigran Petrosian in front of me. Do you recognize this guy? I, I do. That is that is the, the, the one and only uh, world champion Petro Petrosian. Yeah, yeah. Now he is in our money. So you can see. <laughs> is that is that a real Armenian? It money? is two thousand dra, which is like four dollars. Armenian banknote. Wow. <laughs> Is that the only chess player in history to make a, a government money? And um, this is our chess government, house. This central bank's money, but yes. Wow. How, how, how long ago did house. that happen? Uh, this year we started. Some uh, months, yeah? Will you, will you bring me some of those? And of I'll, I'll give you some American cash, like we'll trade. No, you don't need the cash. Just uh, we will bring I would. You. I would love that. I would love that. Honestly, we can, we'll, we'll go, we'll trade, we'll trade, um, you know, who, who takes care of the tab um, at times, but that sounds, that sounds amazing. Thank you. I mean, that's, that's really cool, actually. And, it, and if it doesn't speak highly of uh, the, the culture, the chess culture in Armenia, I don't know what does. So that's, that's amazing. And I don't think a lot of people would know that. Um, can can, can so I, I bring it today to show you? 
Oh, yeah, I, I, I really appreciate that, and I, I can't wait to have one. My, my son collects um, international currency, coins, and things like that, so that'll be really so cool. Soon. So after um, two weeks, you will have it. Zavin and Artok, this is a question for both of you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start with Zavin and ask, as the, as the, more, experienced, the more experienced player, obviously, on the team, and, and in many ways, the, uh, you became kind of the symbolic leader winning that last game last year over, over, over Wang Yue um, and, uh, and helping the, the Eagles clinch the championship. What advice will you be giving to Sean Sargisian, Hike Materiasian, and whoever ends up being board four? What's the advice you'll be imparting on them about, about playing in this format? Okay, so the most important thing, uh, which we talk uh, every time, so if no one is not losing, so team is always winning. So we have to not lose uh, uh, single games because it's very important. Of course, in board uh, four, uh, Anna is playing very well this year. And last year, Artag was playing very good. But anyway, the most uh, important uh, uh, pressure is on uh, uh, board uh, first and second. But uh, this year, Shant played really very good. And uh, so he's uh, bringing a lot of important uh, points for our team. Also in these uh, battles, uh, when this uh, eight games or seven games, I didn't remember exactly, but uh, the most... The Battle Royale. Yeah, the, the Royale, yeah. yeah. The most important thing is to not uh, lose very fast, to not get a bad position in the opening. This is the most important thing. And why is that? Sorry? Why is that? Is that just the psychology of making your no, teammates no, 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 feel no, no. like you're in the fight? Uh, yes, you know, as uh, I'm a coach of all, also our national women's team, so I know when someone have a bad position, the rest of the uh, team try to uh, come back this point. Mm -hmm. And maybe uh, who, who had a bad position, he can survive, but the rest uh, the rest are losing some uh, good positions and yeah, some good points. Place. So this is very important to not get bad position after opening. So because uh, if you remember the last match when we was playing these Chinese guys, uh, they was leading for one point. They was six and a half and we was five and a half. So we had uh, we had to win two and a half at least to have this tie break. So we decide that okay, Artak will uh, try to make a draw or if he will try to win. So. The most uh, player who could play for a win was Karen because he was playing uh, whites with this uh, Chinese guy, uh, Xiu Xiangyu. And of course, Samuel was playing against Nihua, which is uh, such a solid player who is not losing anyone. So the Samuel uh, wanted to make a draw and also Artak was doing a draw. And I was starting the last one. Okay, uh, they was telling me that I have to make a draw. But uh, when starts my game after eight minutes, it was uh, <laughs> I, I saw that it was you know it was something that I had to play on D D four. I had to play D five my slav, but I played G six for first move because I saw the positions what they have. Then I remember this like it was I, yesterday. I, I yeah, but you. okay. After some after some minutes, they escape. And I was under very big danger. So, okay, I could escape, but uh, next time maybe it, it will not work. Okay. So, right. this is the most info important moment. Mm. Can, can, so can, I add something? can I add something? No, I, I, I was going to ask the same question to you. And just to say, uh, it, it, it makes sense that you would say, you know, not to put your team in a position to worry about you, right? Starting off with a bad position makes them worry and then changes their game. And Artak, so the same question to you. What would you add to Zavin's answer? And, and what will be your advice as the manager? Uh, and and a, and a player who played last year, right? To to Shant and and Hike. Okay. First of all, uh, let to capture that moment. Uh, when I was uh, paired with this Chinese girl, we played during the preliminary events, and I analyzed his her games. He was she was playing only this Russian defense, and honestly, mm -hmm. making a draw with Russian defense is not a, such a big task. And also my team agreed uh, and they told me not to go into the any anything and press only in, on a current decision. I would in, in my insights, I just thinking if what will be if I will become a real hero, just not to make a draw and bring this point and uh, on a board, I manage okay how to make something uh, close that Scottish defense can happen in which I am 
quite well, uh, very well experienced. And I uh, find something, but it, it became a gambit. And when I was down on of two pounds, pounds it was uh, honestly inside of myself and maybe it's also ca captured by the tv i was crying because i i feel a tremendous responsibility because based on my risk taking i i was putting all the team in a very bad situation and when <laughs> she played uh, something and i noticed that rook b5 i i can't even uh, that i'm taking the the, the piece but because I, I can't shift uh, myself totally into the playing for a win, also at the moment and when she agreed the draw, it was a quite uh, the train. She, both of us were in a time trouble. I have a one minute at the moment. I guess she had something like a 40 seconds. But for me, it's a, that's, I can make a breath because I took a wrong decision. So I would, uh, would like to propose my younger guys. Of course, we have a about 23 hours to fly and we will analyze all these moments and etc but uh, always not to uh, take too much responsibility on your shoulders and believe that somebody will strike for example if what if i will lost and even Tarens will, will not have uh, help at the situation and the final thing uh, for a general audience the most important game is a board four versus the board four uh, event that the, the, there is a uh, similar lineup. So why? Because the main task of a board four, uh, the su uh, necessary but not sufficient in my terminology, N not to lost uh, to the board four. If you can manage to capture the uh, points from Caruana or whatsoever in a higher board, it's perfect. But if you lost on a board four battle, so basically you are starting with minus um, two or something like that. A board four. <laughs> be a player who will give you a some sense that he can grab a point this is, this is fascinating and, and obviously i think that fans tuning in who are the the power the power fans of the pro chess league will really really appreciate everything you and zavin just said I, I i remember a lot of these moments and these discussions uh from last year in fact specifically the petrov defense because for those who don't follow Li Chao runs a school for Chinese students, and a lot of the openings and the repertoires and the styles were developed from Li Chao's, uh, you know, from his from his style, right? And that and that has affected many of the of the talented Chinese juniors. So um, this is fascinating to know, and and I think the message of don't try to be a hero, right? Just don't be the loser is 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 uh, is is made loud and clear. So. Let, let me let me ask then. I mean, you guys obviously have, a, have put a lot of thought into this. I think it's something that really helps the the culture there in Armenia, Artak and Zavin's experience. Um, and so if you look across the table, you've got the snowballs versus the uh, the pandas. If you guys get past St. Louis again, who would you rather face in the championship, the snowballs or the pandas? We want to repeat the same. So we will beat these guys at the first St. Louis. And then, Chinese guys. As a, as, a man, and as a manager, I am much more practical. Obviously, let's say if we will face the Chinese pandas, of course, it depends from the lineup. But usually, Chinese and Armenians are both in the same category. They are very hard fighters and etc. And we will prefer snowballs because I am practical. And uh, with snowballs, we, I think, have much better chances. Let me ask Shant and Hike the same question. Uh, Shant, who would you rather face if you if you guys beat St. Louis? Um, who would you rather face, the pandas or the snowballs? Pandas, I think. Okay. Repeat. Yeah, pandas, so the, play, the players want to repeat. They've got that bravado, but the manager says snowballs. He wants the inexperienced team. Um, Hike, what do you think? Yes, of course, pandas is a very strong team. And you, whom yeah. you prefer? Who, but who prefer? would you rather play then? You'd rather play the snowballs then? Uh, uh, snowballs, yeah, he is telling the another team. And again, uh, we are speaking about final, not for a third place match. So first That's we right. need to win St. Louis, which is much more difficult task rather than the win in a final. <laughs> Well, um, you talked about your match strategy. Obviously, we know Fabiano Caruana, the the biggest the biggest name in many ways there, at least as far as classical chess and, and the classical following. Um, but who else? When you look at the St. Louis lineup, obviously you don't know exactly who's playing. But who do you predict will be there? But we, know, but we know the lineup. 
Oh, that's right. It was published yesterday. I didn't want to yeah, give any spoilers. So and I get surprised because I mean, we even we do not know our lineup how they are already published. But <laughs> thanks for them. So we will prepare. It's easier for them. So, so what do you think then? Um, who, who, when you look at that lineup, uh, what, what are some of the some of the weaknesses you think? I mean, be be honest. Give us your thoughts here, Artak. How would you how would you pick apart their team? Uh, I think uh, the board for which is completely on. Uh, I, I even tried to look on his uh, chess game uh, games and etc. Because he uh, never played any single game. It's it's some something that we need to explore over the board. And uh, let's see, because the rest of the team are more or less they played. We can at least uh, know the strategy, and therefore also we pick the second part of the game. So we will. To have a much more time to also prepare in our hotel rooms and hopefully the other guys will produce something uh, innovative uh, with joint jointly uh, but for me a board four which uh, doesn't play any any game is really uh, I mean miracle it can, can be happy can happen a, a, everything so we do not expect what to expect from a board. Uh, we do not know what to expect from board four. This is well, and right now. You don't even know who your board four is. It's fair to say that Zabin, Hike, and Shant will be there. So it seems like the big question mark for you is whether you'll be playing board four or whether Anna Sargisian will be playing board yes. four. Right. It depends from a visa issues. Right. Okay. And is that because, is that be honest, is that because you, you want to get in there and throw down as the manager? Is that because you want to play? Honestly, uh, it will be very <laughs> difficult for me not uh, just to follow from a, a part. But if I am taking that after this minus, I am losing about three years of my, my uh, I mean, potential li living experience. Of course, I, I, this time I can, uh, honestly, I can rely on Anas. And uh, I, I think I'm very confident. So if okay. it's of the visa issue, I will be happy to uh, keep aside. But if we will know, of course, I will do like this. <laughs> okay, well, there you go. It's a, it's a, I have this feeling that maybe Artok wanted to throw down. And I also have a feeling... We're going to be trading places here. It's like the Brady Bunch here. Shant and, and Hike have traded places. But, just believe uh, me. Just believe. Uh, somebody uh, without any, I mean, international recognition is beating Caruana. So it's a, it's a hero a heroic, let's say, attempt. So at least, I, 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 I mean, you should live for that moment. Yep. Yep. Well, we're we're about to wrap things up here. Obviously, um, you know, greatly looking forward to to the event and and wishing you guys uh, the best of luck. I've got my I've got my mug here that you got me last year, our talk, and I, I was saving it for the end. I think I accidentally spoiled it earlier. You, you've got the 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 Armenian money you're bringing me. I can't wait for that. I'm gonna I'm gonna make it rain with Tigran Petrosian all up in the PCL finals. If you guys win, I'm gonna make it rain with Armenian money from the top stage. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, uh, uh, Danny, can I can I just add something? Yes, please. Honestly, last year uh, our team was much more concentrated. You know why? Because uh, I was only focused on mainly on a chess com related issues. This year, the things are changed a bit. And for example, last year I was inventing, thinking what to. I mean. Uh, give us a present, preparing for this, making my logos, a lot of, let's say, works. Zavan particularly knows everything, how it was. But this year I became a member of a parliament and I do not have a time. Honestly, I even, hey. I, I manage only to buy, buy a bottle of uh, brandy for you. So but I, I, I will talk. work on a Saturday and say. Our talk, love, love means never having to say you're sorry. Don't worry about it, buddy. I, I, I love you guys. This is going to be a lot of fun. I'm not expect I, we, you shocked us last year, but obviously uh, the biggest gift of all will be a super exciting finals that everyone's looking forward to. Um, we can't wait to see you guys in person again. Wishing the best of luck to the team, to the new guys, Hike and Shant, um, Zavin and Artak. Uh, safe travels. We will see you in a couple weeks. Fans tuning in uh, to, uh, to the video here. Uh, yeah, show up there and, and support the Eagles live if uh, if you have the means to do so. And um, thank you for thank you for watching this beyond the board. Can I make the final phrase? There you go. There you go. We can be defeated, but we will never give up our proud, and we'll do everything for our fans to uh, entertain. 
I, if you guys, maybe we should make a movie about your guys' team someday. I love it. <laughs> talk about. All right. Thank you so much. Hike, hike, give that teddy bear a tight hug for me. Give it, give that teddy bear a tight hug. Do, there you go. Give it. I love it. Teddy bear. Uh, Shant, um, getting a good close up view of those eyes, buddy. Appreciate it. Love it. <laughs> anyway, guys, this has been a lot of fun. Thank you for all your, all your answers. Good luck in San Francisco. We'll see you soon.